Like PL into Luna, although Luna does deal with illusions quite nicely. Maybe Drow Ranger. Drow, all right. Just a range here coming through. Drow into Ember can be a bit awkward as the Ember already has some good gap close, but it's only the Ember. Maybe once you get that blink on Xiao Yu on the Sand King and, and try to ignore the Drow Ranger. Meanwhile, top lane. Well, that's going to be KYXY going down. They might find the Lunar as a trade, but no, Polison. Preventing Mizu from just having safe farm and drow. Going to try and run into Mizu right now, but Alacrity is around to try and help out. Does pop a dust still. The remnants forward now from your Ember. They really want the drow. Instead, they'll turn onto Alacrity and just try to get the tiny, but the cookie. Gonna disappear in the middle of the slide of fist. Now Polison moves in with 3-4-3 three, three, and they're gonna try and go on the Grimstroke. There's Xiao Yu going down, QWE. He's gonna get hexed up. Polison has the TP cancellation and Mercury is still trying to find a way out. Polison will at least get a courier before he dies, but he's gonna keep him protected. Alacrity's gonna be trapped in the tree line and we can come out at any time, but the problem is Mystery is going to be waiting for him. He'll go for another Avalanche Toss, but there's the Immortimus Kisses now. Alacrity going to try and run with the Stampede, but the Burrow Strike is there from Xiao Yu. And Ghost will take the kill. Yeah, it gives them some really good burst damage to play with. There are no BKBs yet on Team Mystery Send. You just have to worry about Wayne. Yeah, that Aphotic Shield has been causing issues for Burrow Strike. Mid lane, they do have the Mortimus Kisses to fly in. Stampede is there, Alacrity is in with the Avalanche Toss and does get two. Mercury and Xiao Yu already gone as Alacrity keeps going forward. The Eclipse gonna force them back a little bit, but another successful defense here from Galaxy Racer. For both sides here. Three, try and move in, three, four, three. Gonna be all right for now. Polis and nice on a spike there into the avalanche toss and the finger. They just blow him up. Soulbind is there. Lock them down. Onto Xiao Yu. The stampede to get away from the snap by kisses and everyone is gonna survive for now. It's 3 4 3. He will be the first to die. Be very dangerous. You've also got to blink up on KYXY. It's just on the courier. They're gonna move in without it. Avalanche toss right into Ghost. No BKB being popped, but now it's there. Into the eclipse, they will get the tiny. Gonna be one down. Now KYXY, he does have the blink, but it might be too late. He'll go into the back lines, but they have the control for him. The Centaur in big, big danger now, and they will just surround. He will try to stampede away, and it looks like it might be enough, but Ghost will kill off Polison instead. With the illusions. 3-4-3, three, three. Ingswell gonna be there, but it won't matter. They have the Burrow Strike, and they will find a triple kill onto Ghost. Yeah, but for the BKB, once you have Paulson. the BKB up on the Ember, it's safer. It's onto Wayne. Now you're tossed back from Alacrity. They want to try and get rid of that Aphotic Shield. KYXY gonna hold him down. Now Mizu will get to work, but he's full HP again. A nice Earth Spike out from Polis, and onto two heroes into the double hex. They've got so much control, oh. and they will just blow them up. Xiao Yu, he tries to get in for an epicenter. Mizu literally doesn't care. He literally just does not care as QWE is gonna try and TP out. He will not make it. As mentioned, he could still look to make a play. That they can. They're gonna try and go into their radiant triangle right now. Ward's up, however, gonna see Mercury, but they found KYXY. But the Lotus Orb gonna bounce everything back the way as he can stampede now and just trying to get his way out on Alacrity right into the back lines of the Ghost. Will force the BKB, but it's not gonna be enough. Alacrity, he is dropping low now. He needs some help, but where's the help? It's just not coming. KYXY gonna go back in after Xiao Yu, but it's not looking amazing for them. The buyback will be there from Alacrity now to try to come back into this team fight, but they are dropping like flies. There goes KYXY. At least they did find the Ember. KYXY is going to buy back immediately. Into Wayne they go on the Abaddon and Ghost. They found the big one. That'll be your Luna gone now. As a massive hoop stop is there, and look at that, John. Trying to farm a bit more safely. He's even got that Aghanim set. Scepter queued up on the Luna. Oh, but there's your Soulbind down into the stomp. And now the double finger. A big Burrow Strike epicenter. But they have lost Ghost. Your massive Luna already down. Xiao Yu going to try and chase down Polison. But look at the hypothermia stacks, oh John. Oh, God. Just stacking up. There goes Xiao Yu. 
into another QWE. He is also caught now, but he doesn't really have much farm on the Ember. So the, the damage output is quite low on this Ember Spirit right now. And well, Galaxy Racer, just look how hard they're hitting. Xiao Yu, he's going to try and go in and start this team fight with the Eclipse out on KYXY, but he has a hard up. He is taking no damage right now on that Centaur, and nobody is dying. The team fight just means nothing, and now Paulson is in with the double hex out. They could go in with a double oh. hoop stop from KYXY into the finger. They found Ghost. That should be GG, because they don't have the buybacks, and there you go. They call it, they have had enough. They committed that whole Eclipse onto KYXY and the Centaur, and with the heart of Tarask up, John, he... Axe feels like he enjoys the long lane more, right? Like you have you have camps to play with, you're much more disruptive compared to Sand King. And the Galaxy Racer take the Luna themselves, so they've got a lot to play with here. Uh, it is Mercury Sand King, so it's a Shao Yu Axe, yeah. It's a, like, you, you don't want to give the long lane away from time here for Ghost to just sit comfortably in the lane. Team Mystery, you're seeing a little bit of activity from Mercury. He does have the haste up. Can kill Polison here. The only problem is he doesn't really have a plus one. And they might turn now. 3 4 3. He's chasing him down. We'll think better of it. Mercury wants to try and contest these stacks away from GXR. Now they come in onto KYXY. He'll turn around with the Ink Swall though onto the Anti Mage, but the stun will not connect on anyone. As now Wayne is going to be targeted by Alacrity, but there's the FP sent around from Mercury as he will chase down 3 4 3, but it is not going to be enough damage. Now the snowball in Mercury. He probably needs to run, but he will stick around for the kill. In fact, a double kill now onto the Sanking, and he will try to TP away. And it's going to be enough. Bottom lane, KYXY has to be very cautious here as Xiao Yu is going to go for the dive in. He has help coming in as well from Ghost and QWE. They do get the Hex and the Call off, but it's during the Ghost form, but it won't matter. KYXY has no help coming in. He needs some. It's not coming. He'll just have to try and run the old-fashioned way. Xiao Yu does have the Battle Hunger and the Call as well, and that should be enough. QWE to lock him down, and there's your dunk out. It's going to be a big smoke here from GXR. Supports with Alacrity going to move down, and they have found a big, big target. But can you lock him down? Inkswell is going to be there, but no, the Aether Remnant. You needed that to connect. And now Ghost, he's going to try and run. Snowball not going to connect either. Maybe they still have enough. They have the silence out, and Ghost... <laughs> he's going to drop Mercury. He's deep it in now. It might just be a little bit too late. All they're gonna get for their trouble is 343. Not life. quite what you'd want. Should be enough to get that good position. Should be. Mid lane. Fire strike in. Alacrity, though, he has jumped in with the Yule Scepter and the Aether Remnant now, and nobody's coming in to help. They're going top lane instead with they'll find Mizu. Mizu has the Eclipse, but there's your call out. But look at the TPs. Immediately in with the Soulbind, and they cannot take Mizu down. They will try to retreat now, but the Eclipse is going to be out, but it's not going to be that great. That was your blink reveal, and... Well, maybe they should have waited for the Sand King. Oh, KWXY. Okay, A bit of trouble. No help on the way for KYXY. He needs to find his own way out of this. More TPs coming in, and now he has some friends, but it might be too late. Polison trying to make his way over, and there's Ooh. a snowball now to delay things as Wayne is going to get stunned up. They'll go on to QWE, but the Earth Spike was there into a massive Burrow Strike, but it means nothing as the Inkspell did land on Mercury. He will get bursted down onto Xiao Yu. Now Ghost even joining the fray, but it's not enough damage. He will at least get KYXY. Can they turn? They are going to try. Xiao Yu still moving back on a Polison. There aren't many spells left. 3 4 3. Going to go back in onto Wayne. And there's your tree protector now going down. Xiao Yu not going to land the call whatsoever. Ghost is still sticking around for this team fight. This is all time he has not been farming. Maybe if they get Alacrity, it'd be worth it. But he's he spent a solid minute not farming whatsoever. And. KYXY is going to walk in and, well, Mercury, he'll be silenced, but he will be able to borrow a strike away. Still, Alacrity does get the Yule Scepter off into the Aether Remnant. Xiao Yu, he can't get the Blink Call in. He can't really counter-initiate here. He's still waiting and now does get one off, but it's only going to be onto Polison, who will snowball Ooh. away. And now the Double Reaper side is out. They'll go on to Wayne now. Alacrity, he's not going to land the Aether Remnant, but he like something is awry and does back off at the exact right time. 
Lackery, though, still sees Mercury, and he's going to jump in. Aether Remnant does latch on. The Sandstorm not going to do anything, and this is why I hate mid-sanking, John. It just, it doesn't do anything. Feels like its spikes are too awkward. A level one epicenter just feels very unimpactful if you don't have a veil. And now you oh, see off that hill they go for the tier two. Yeah, that's a nice Aether Remnant and a and a great read from Alacrity to go onto the high ground. Wayne is going to try and escape, but he cannot. He found another. He found QWE in the oh, exact God. same way now. QWE is trying to run, but they are just diving the base. Alacrity has another step available. QWE, the shard's not going to lock him in. He will still go for it and gets it. Oh, cool guys, do not look at explosions. Force the fight. They need to force it onto high ground. It's a bit oh, of an Mercury. awkward position. They know he's there, I think. Mizu, Mizu knows. Uh, They're going to go in. Epicenter out. They've got the Luna, but the Aegis not available anymore. They Maybe they burst him down. They do. Mizu is going to drop. There's your Soulbind out now, but do you want to fight without your Luna? Probably not. Oh. There's your Reaper Scythe down. Mercury, he's going to get bursted down onto Ghost. He will have to blink away, but Xiao Yu will go back in on the Axe, but is it going to be enough? QWE, he's in. They'll burst down the Grimstroke. Can they keep going, though? Aether Remnant, gonna lock down Xiao Yu. QWE gonna try and come back in, but look at the damage output from Alacrity. They lock him down with the core, but it's just not enough. Ghost might need to back off now as the snowball's out from Polison. Right back into Wayne. The Treant is gonna try and run. There's no way out. And that's the best team fight we've seen. He's gonna hide in the tree line now, and he should be just fine. Unless... Lackery breaks his smoke. Which way do you go, sir? Ghost is going to be spotted now. Aether Remnant not going to land, but they have the Walrus Punch there. Into the silences. The Manta may not be enough. Ghost is trying to run, but yeah, they get him. Oh, boy. This is... Uh, I was talking about, John. This is really awkward for Ghost Mike. He bought out his two ultimate orbs. He doesn't have oh. buyback. Oh, that that's pretty bad. UWE... Has been caught. Aether Remnant to lock him down. He's gone. Xiao Yu. Oh, not going to do too much here with the core. Mercury's in with the epicenter, but the snowball going to save the day again. Polison is just way too on target when it comes to playing Tusk. And that'll be another. Three down, no buybacks available. I believe you may as well call it at this point. Yeah, look at Mizu. He doesn't care. He's just going for tier fours. Wants this game done and over. And mystery, no buybacks. I don't see a strong defense coming out from the axe. And they call the there GG. You go. Yeah. Very hard game here for, uh, for Team Mystery. I appreciate they try to make the AM work, but I, I think there was just two.